and welcome to Urban Flower Collective. I'm your host, Lisa. If this is the first time you've been here, then a really warm welcome um, and I hope you enjoy it. If you're returning and you've done some of my classes before, then welcome back. Um, don't forget to subscribe, um, hit the notification bell and you'll be first to see all the new tutorials. There's lots coming up. Um, I've got another one being recorded this week, so there will be a few coming up shortly. So without further ado, today we are going to look at how to make these lovely little Cosmos flowers. Now I think these are a brilliant filler flower. Um, they're lovely as part of an arrangement as well, so you can have an arrangement of just the Cosmos. As you can see, these are really delicate and in whites and pinks, but you can go wild and you can color these up as much as you want. I've made some really colorful ones here as well. Um, so, you know, these are for you to go wild, to practice your dusting skills. They're a really quick, simple little flower to make. And as I say, they look great just as a one-off in amongst another arrangement, or they look fabulous on their own. So let us get started. Um, now today, I'm just gonna be doing the white and pink ones, just to give you an idea of um, how to make them, but then you can be as creative as you want. So first of all, I'm gonna, I've made a PDF with all the equipment on just so we don't waste any time in the lesson. So if you just click on the link in the show notes, it'll take you to the PDF. It's got the whole list of equipment on and also step-by-step -step instructions. Today I'm using Ultrafine. This is my favorite flower paste. You use whichever paste works for your conditions. So I'm just gonna um, condition it, get it going, and then I'm gonna roll it out. Now you can roll this out with a pasta machine if you want. I would roll it as fine as you can, maybe to level eight or nine on the pasta machine. But as you can see, I'm just rolling it by hand here for quickness. Um, so these little flowers are lovely. They're still out in the garden at the moment. I'm, I'm in the UK, as you probably know, and it's just turning autumn here. Um, so, you know, the nights are getting darker, the sunshine's gone, we've got a lot of rain, but there are still a few little cosmos in the garden. And I've been meaning to do this tutorial for weeks and weeks and weeks now. I wanted to do it in the summer, but I just ran out of time to get it recorded. So here we are, a little bit late, but I know some of you are in the throes of summer. So it's a nice, oh look, I've got dust on the back of that. Um, so it's still a nice little flower, but as I say, it's great at any time of year. If you want to add a pop of colour to a cake or to a flower arrangement, you've got a little hole for the filler flower, then that's where your cosmos comes in handy. And because they're so quick to make, you know, even if you've made your arrangement, you think, oh, there's a little gap there, you can knock one of these up really quickly. So today I'm using it. It's not a cosmos cutter. Now I do have a cosmos cutter but I'm not really keen on it. So if you can see in the overhead, it's quite a long and a um, jaggedy cutter, but I'm using this one, and this is the smallest cutter in a peony set. Now I'm gonna put the template um, for this cutter as well in the PDF. So if you haven't got a cutter, don't worry. You can just cut around the template like that, and you can cut around with a cutting wheel or an X-Acto blade, and you'll get exactly the same shape. So don't worry if you haven't got the cutter. So we're gonna cut out eight of these petals. So one. And we shall keep some of this and put the rest back in the bag. Next, we're just gonna put these into a um, polythene flap. Now, if you don't have one of these bespoke um, petal protectors, you can use just a document wallet, a polystyrene document wallet. It will do exactly the same job. And what we're gonna do is just thin out the very edges because the way flowers look realistic is when they've got very, very fine edges. Now I've got this, which is called a boning tool. You can buy these really cheaply on Amazon. Um, there's a link on my website to find them. Um, in the UK, they're about five pounds you get them in a pack of two. Um, but this is one of my favorite tools. So you want these as thin as you possibly can get them. So when you feel across the polythene, you don't really want to feel any ridge. And the thinner you can get these, the more realistic these flowers are gonna look. Of course, you can use the 
the Cosmos cutter if you prefer, but I find the petals are a little bit too fine and I prefer to um, sort of shape them a little bit more myself. Next, we're gonna take some 28 gauge wire. Um, now, we don't need this too long because these petals are quite small. So I'm just gonna cut eight pieces of this. Two, four, six, eight. And we're going to use my cheats method to get these wires on. If you've seen my lessons before, then this is a really quick way to get your um, petals onto your wires. So we're just going to twirl a tiny, tiny bit of flower paste on there. Give it a little roll so it's nice and fine. Now your flower paste has to be super, super sticky or this won't work. So if your flower paste has dried out a little bit, then get some fresh, get some fresh, stickier flower paste. Now I'm gonna do all eight here, but if you're slow at this and you haven't done it before, it takes a little bit of a practice to get quick at this, then just do one at a time. Next I'm gonna bring over my veiner. Now I've just got one of these universal veiners. Um, it's got straight lines, so any petal veiner that's got really straight lines um, will do for this. I'm going to use the bottom of it and I've got just a little top on it as well. Um, if you don't have a veiner, you can always use the back of any um, sort of silicon to do this same method and then you can put your veins in with the Dresden tool and I'll show you that too. But let's start off. So what we're going to do is take a petal out, we're going to pop the this piece that we've just twirled onto the wire on the back of the petal, like so, just at the base of it. We're gonna lay it with the back down and we're just gonna press down and make our veins. Now the, the veins on a Cosmos are nice and straight, so you can see they're straight. You can see our wire is attached nicely there. I'm gonna bring over the petal pad and put this on the petal pad. Now if you haven't got a veiner with straight lines like that, I'll show you how you can do it without. So you can use the back of any, if, I'm sure you've got some kind of petal veiner in your toolkit. So we're just going to pop that on the back the same, press it down, we'll just press it down on the back of it so it doesn't matter what veiner it is, and it will still attach your wire. Then if you bring over your petal pad and a Dresden tool, you can put in the straight lines using the sharper end of the Dresden tool. You can put the lines in yourself, like so. You can always make the ends a little bit more frilly as well with that, if you prefer. Okay, so that's two ways to get your petals on. So we'll do the other six, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so now we've veined and we've got our um, wires attached to all of our petals. We're just going to take a medium sized ball tool and we're going to ruffle just round the edge of these. It just thins it out that little bit more. When you think you can't get it any thinner, you always can. Um, so don't be scared to thin it as much as possible. So if you haven't used a ball tool before, we're going half on the petal and half on the petal pad. And that just gives a little ruffle. We're not going back and forward, we don't want it too ruffly. It just gives each petal a little bit more movement. And then finally, we've got one more thing to do. And for that, I'm gonna bring over a sponge. Now I've just, you can, you can get um, sponge for um, flower craft. This is just some dimple sponge and I'm just gonna use the back of it. So you need something soft. And we're gonna use our Dresden tool again. Um, and what we're gonna do is for every petal, so I'll start with four. On the front, I'm just gonna run down this left-hand side and it'll just curl it in a little bit. So I'm gonna do that for all eight petals. 
so I'll do four at a time. Then I'm going to flip them all over and do the same on the back, so just down that left hand side. And it just gives it a little bit of nice movement and makes it look a little bit more organic, um, so it's not flat. Then finally, what we're going to do is just take some spoons. Now I've got some plastic dessert spoons, again, really cheap from Amazon. And I'm just going to lay these in to give them a little bit of a curve while they're dry. So that will just give them a nice shape. Now there's two different ways, and I'll show you on my examples that you can dry these. This way, which gives you a little curved in um, Cosmos. Or if you prefer, now I'll show you the difference. So if you look at this colourful one, it's quite flat um, and quite a straight leaf. Whereas if you look at these pink ones, I've curved them in a little bit more. Um, you can see the bottom white ones, the flat shape, but the other two are curved in. So it depends on your preference. It depends on how it's gonna fit in with your, um, the rest of your flowers, or if you're just doing them on their own, it depends what you prefer. So if you want the curved in, version like those pink ones then put them on the spoons if you prefer the flatter version then and I like them both um, and I usually mix them up a little bit um, then you'd still do the same but just lie them lie them on the dimple foam or lie them on a piece of foam to dry just lie them flat and don't make the curve with the, the teaspoon so we just have them laying out like that but because I want to make them all the same, I'm going to lie these on the spoons. And that's it for our petals. So let's get on with our centre. Now the centre of the Cosmos, um, let me bring one over again, is kind of, it's yellow, but it usually has little black speckles in. The ones I've used as an example have all had the little black speckles in. Now you can either make it all yellow and then put the little black speckles in but I find it much easier just to use black um, cotton. So I've got yellow cotton as well if you just wanted a yellow scent and didn't want the black in then you can use yellow cotton um, but I'm going to use black today and I'll show you what I do and I can make two at once. So what I'm going to do is just take this is normal dressmakers cotton and this one's black. You could use navy, you could use burgundy if you want a little bit of a, um, you know, a bit of a different colour in there, but you need some dark little speckles to make it look authentic. And all I'm going to do is wrap it around my two fingers 60 times. There we go, let me snip that off. Now, while I've still got it on my fingers, I'm going to take some 28 gauge wire again. I'm just going to slot it through we don't need much, um, the stems aren't very big, and I'm just going to twist that to hold that loop together. And then cut that off and twist it all the way down. So you can see I've twisted that. Then I'm going to gently remove my fingers, if I can get them out and hanging on to that loop I'm going to put it through the other side and I'm going to do the same again so just twist and cut that off so those ends should be nice and secure I'm just going to cut that in the middle and this will give us two nice centers so next I'm going to get some tape. Now I've just got green tape here. This is florist's tape. Um, this is full width and I'm just going to cut this in half because we don't really need full width for this job. Um, so I'm just going to cut this down the middle. You can buy half width tape. You can buy half width cutters. I find it easier just to have full width and cut it. Um, it's not a time consuming job to do. So that's that. Then I'm just going to take some um, 22 gauge wire just to strengthen this up a little bit and make it a little bit firmer so I'm going to just chop two bits of that the length I want the flowers to be 
And what I'm gonna do is, this would just be a bit too thick to wrap around the cotton, so that's why I'm adding it on afterwards. I'm gonna take my half width tape and start to tape it up. Now, if you haven't used this before, just give it a little pull, a little stretch as you um, twirl it around and it sticks to itself. So we're just gonna go up past the wire, up to the cotton, just to secure that in place, and all the way back down the wire. Now you might feel fingers and thumbs to do this. It just takes a little bit of practice and you'll be doing this really quickly. Um, so we're gonna do the same with the other. We'll make two. Uh, we don't want that cotton to come off the wire. So we'll get that taped on as quickly as we can. Don't worry if it looks a bit messy at this stage, we're gonna give it a haircut. It's gonna go for a nice trim. So we're just gonna wire that all the way down, like so. And then I'm gonna bring over my scissors and just give it a little trim. I want it to be a bit of a um, kind of curved shape. So if you can see, I'm just trimming down the edges. It's a little bit higher in the middle. I'm gonna do the same for this. So if we've got any stray threads that are a bit too long, we can trim them off at this stage. So that looks fine. Let's get rid of those bits, we don't want those. Next, I'm gonna bring over some egg white. Now you can use egg white, you can use edible glue if you're vegan. I'll just use egg white because it's readily available and I've got it. The other thing I've got here is some semolina. Um, I'll show you the one I used, this is just ground semolina and it makes great pollen. Um, I've mixed it just with some yellow um, petal dust, just mixed it up. You don't need much petal dust at all, it takes the colour really well. And what I'm going to do is just dip this cotton in the egg white and then dip it into the semolina and yellow dust. And you can see, hopefully, you can see if I move all the other stuff away, that, that looks really nice. You might see it better in the big camera. I'm just going to pop that in some polystyrene to dry and that gives us a really nice centre, just how we want it. It wants to look polleny and it wants to have some little black bits shown through. If you need to rearrange it a little bit, just use your Dresden tool to get it in the shape you want. Um, but these centres aren't huge, they're quite small and they look like that. Now when they dry they'll be really quite secure and quite firm. So there are centres. So, last part is the just nut bit. Now this is the fun bit. So I've dried some earlier and I've dried them both ways. So I shall show you both ways. So these ones you can see are quite flat. And these ones, they've got the, if they're not sticking to each other, they've got the curve, so the centre curve. So hopefully you can see they're flat. And curved so that will give us both of our looks so if we want to go for um, this kind of traditional look of a cosmos just with pink in the middle and pink around the edges you can do these in um, a, a nice sort of um, purpley color as well then you know they look nice either flat or curved in so let's go for that so what I'm going to use today is uh, Colour Splash Bright Pink and I really like this colour and I'm just going to use a little brush, I've just got a, an eyeshadow brush here, you can get these really cheaply again from Amazon. Um, if you have a look on my PDF I've got some links to get these brushes and all the other equipment I've been using. So I'm going to just start off, less is more here, just start off with a little bit at the bottom and then just tap around the edges. Now this brush is quite flat, so it's quite good um, for just tapping around the edge. Your brush doesn't need to be too big for this because they're quite small petals. And that really is enough. So, so each time, make it about the same height if you can. You can always adjust this when we've taped up the um, flower, if you feel that your middle isn't all the same height. But we're just tapping around the edges here and this gives us a really nice effect and it's typical of the cosmos.
So that's that. Um, please, if you do these, let me see them. Um, do tag me in any pictures that you post on Instagram. Um, just tag in Urban Flower Collective and I'll see it. I'd love to see what you make. So let's bring over one of our centers we've just made. And we're just going to start taping up. So again, I'm going to use just that um, half width tape. I'm just going to give these a little bend at the base, so bend the wire back. And I'm just going to start taping up at the very bottom where that black cotton starts. Um, so do one at a time. Now it can be a little bit fiddly. But as you can see, it's a really, really quick flower to make. Now you can have these as open or closed as you'd like. Um, a Cosmos normally has eight petals. Um, and this should all fit in because these are just a nice size. So if you download the PDF, you will get the template to see how big these petals are. But as I say, it's a lovely filler flower. Now these, we can readjust these when we get them all taped on. But you can see just how easy it is. It doesn't take too much dust and skill to do this one, but it's a great flower again to practice your dust and skills on because you can go as wild as you want with these colours. Um, I mean, that orange, uh, uh, the yellow and red one I did is more like a fantasy cosmos because I've never really seen one like that, but I had a dahlia grown in my garden with those colours and I really loved it. So I thought, why not? So, so once you've got all eight petals on, just tape all the way down to the bottom of your wire and then you can give them a little adjustment so they don't take too long to dry because they're small petals if you're in a hurry you can always put them in a dehydrator or put them in a really warm very well a coolish oven 50 degrees cell, um, centigrade I would use and that you know for five minutes or so then take them out and that would dry them off as well um, but there we go, you can see that's a really pretty little filler flower, looks really cute. Now I, I pair it up, it's got quite a spindly leaf, I pair it up with just some fern leaves. So um, I would put it with a little fern branch, like that, and I think that looks quite cute. And you can always finish the back half with a calyx. I'll show you, um, I've done that before. These ones. So you can see these are just finished off at the back with a little calyx, oops, with a little calyx. And to do that, I've just used a um, eight petal daisy cutter with some green um, flower paste. And I've just stretched it out and made it into a point and that finishes off your cosmos really nicely so that's our flat one if you like the look of that um, and again we tape up our curved one exactly the same just pull it out a little bit more and I'm going to leave this one white because I really like the look of the white ones um, and it's going to go with my arrangement really nicely so I'll just show you this goes exactly the same and these are lovely little wedding filler flowers as I say so yeah please tag me in please subscribe and you'll be first to see the next tutorials as I say there's an autumn leaf coming I know um, we're in the throes of autumn here in the UK at the moment I'm sure some of you are in summer and the last thing on your mind is doing autumnal leaves but yeah but it's not nice here. It's wet, windy and yucky. So that's all turned in one. Let me know what you prefer in the comments. Do you prefer the flat ones? Do you prefer these little curved in ones? Do you not like them at all? Do you think they're really cute? Let me know what you think. So let's pair it up with the other one we've just made. I like things in threes, you've probably gathered if you've done these classes before, maybe. Like that. Oh, I like that, if I'm looking from above. But there, put a little bit of foliage in, and that looks really cute. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Um, if you need help with any of these lessons, please come over to Facebook and join our private Facebook group, Urban Flower Collective. If you need help with your cake business, then Urban Cake Collective is the place for you. Again, that's a free Facebook group. Give me a follow on Instagram. You'll see all the new things that are popping up. Give me a, a um, subscribe and hit the notification button and you'll be first to see everything that's new. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.